guys, what's going on? It's Slacker here, coming to you with episode 2 and the beginning of our FIFA Dynasty with Sporting KC. In this episode, we're going to go over what we made, kind of our just our coach in general, and how we are going to tackle the beginning of the season. We're going to switch over to, to dollars, that way we understand what's going on. We're also going to keep, we're going to kind of play around with the half link. Uh, we're going to play around with the difficulty. If it's too easy, if it's too hard, I'll kind of tone it down so it's more realistic for gameplay. I don't want to be beating teams 8-0. to zero. I also don't want to be getting beat 8-0, to zero, so going to have to adjust to that. We're going to go ahead and start with, I always start with the most expensive tourney. Not necessarily because it's the most difficult but because I want to try to get the most money possible in playing these games we're gonna look over kind of what the board wants we're also going to look over our scouts we're gonna change a few of the scouts and we will change what we're looking for from our scouts so let's start it off we're gonna go ahead and tr we try to send the scouts to where they're from however right now they're not set up that way so we're just going to try to set them up basically however they want or however they are we're just going to try to fill them up and get to spaces where we know that young players are going to be found as in spain england uh, the u.s we want to keep stuff in the u.s as well um, canada mostly because kind of just i know that eventually we will be asked to be a coach for a country and i don't think you're ever asked to be the u.s coach but i know that you are asked to be the canadian coach so we're going to try to hold out there because we want good canadian people not only to have on our squad but to have on the canadian international team because if they're on the canadian international team and they're on my team i can make them better which makes them better at international which makes me look good as an international coach so keeping that in mind for our recruiting we're also looking just basically for really really young talent 16 to 22 is basically what i'm looking for with the attributes of promising and we're doing all of these we're doing goalkeeper attacker striker midfielder center back center mid we're doing all of those positions trying to cover all of the positions that we need as well as finding young promising talent we're gonna have to use this along with our scouters that go out and find really young people this is people that are already in in fifa basically already in the game already built out what we will do after that is send out recruiters to find young talent that has is not in the game basically that is usually 16 17 years old um, sometimes 15 those are great good to go over our objectives as a coach a lot of these aren't very hard i guess the high domestic one is they want us to reach the playoff finals which i think we will do the mls is tough but Sporting KC's built out for it. They are in real life. Um, I thought they're going to do better last year, but they didn't do as well as I thought they would. Going into the playoffs, they were doing pretty well, but in the playoffs, they just struggled. So we're given a big transfer budget. Um, we're going to take it down a little bit, and we're going to go with about $28 million. We're going to use that to hire a few of these scouts, which, as I told you earlier, these are going to be the people that go out and find the really, really young talent so we want a really good scout with ex really good experience and really good judgment we will spend what four million on that just getting that we're going to set up his network in the u.s trying to get young u.s talent um gonna leave it as normal type we're gonna go nine months just so that i mean it doesn't really matter it kind of just matters if you're gonna move them around a lot but we want young U.S. talent, so we're not going to move that around a lot. So we're going to keep that at nine months. We're also going to add another one to it. We have the budget. Yes, the budget could be used to bring in players, but I'm really wanting... I love rebuilding teams. Well, Sporting Kansas City doesn't need necessarily rebuilt. 
they have the talent there but to me i don't think they can keep it around forever the johnny russells i mean how long you know how much longer does johnny russell have before running out of contract before going somewhere else same thing with our younger talent that's really good like sanchez um he, he's not going to be here very much longer you know we have shallowy who's a young really good player for us and for the country but how much longer can we keep him around then we have to pair that with the older players that have been around for a while we're talking about um, Espinoza we're talking about Beasler we're talking about um, Zussi like these players that have been around for a while Namath even Namath has been around for a while and we're gonna have to find people to fill them in same you know we're gonna have to find that young goalie to take over Milia's position Milia is not gonna be there forever we're gonna have to get some young strikers in to help Johnny Russell for a few years shallowy we're gonna try to Make sure we make him happy and keep him around pretty much for the rest of his career. I don't know if that's going to be possible or not, but that's kind of what we're looking at. We have a few young talent like Giancarlo Busio, who is my favorite player right now. They signed him, I believe, last year when he was 15, 16. I think he's 16 now. He's really, really good. He's from the U.S., but he's really, really good. I think he's from North Carolina. Anyway. We want him to be our striker of the future. The only issue is he's a little short at this point, but I think he will grow a little bit, honestly, because he's only 16. He's still got at least one growth spurt left. So we're hoping that he ends up coming out. We're gonna definitely train with him. We're gonna set the roster up. Um, Gerso, we want to come off the bench. He's so fast, so quick. The reason we want him coming off the bench is at the end of games, you know, this. 70th minute plus on we're gonna need someone really fast to come in and be able to give us scoring opportunities be able to get the ball into the box be able to get down the field quickly and Jerso can do that so Jerso right now is going to be our outside striker that comes in late in the games try to get us some goals another young player is Jalen Lindsay he is on the back four and right now he's at right back, but we're gonna kind of move him around right back, left back, wherever we need him. We want him to get some playing time. He's super young. I think he's 16 or 17 right now as well. So we want to get him the playing time he deserves and needs to be able to grow into the starting lineup. Next thing we are going to touch is the training. This is where we're gonna add everyone that we want to train. As you can see, Freeman, young guy, young player, same thing with Busio, very young, very good. So we're gonna add Busio actually twice. We're gonna use him, if you see the little line that says promising player there on the right, um, that little line that goes up, that just basically means that they're promising, they're young, they're good, they will advance quicker than someone that's already been veteran for a while, who's the age of 23 and kind of just slowly going up. These young promising players, these are going to be the players that we need to have good training sessions. That is why I'm adding pretty much everyone I add is a promising young player. Here's Freeman here, same thing. The reason I do the gold or the hardest is because if they get a C on hardest, that's better than getting a A in something easy. So, and I send these, I don't play them mostly. I might end up playing the goalkeeper one when we do get a young goalkeeper just because I'm really good at the goalkeeper one and it's pretty easy to do so I could probably get an A every time. But for now, we're going to simulate all and see how they do in our first week. So we got Shallowy with an A, good for him. We got uh, Busio with a C and a B, which is good. Jalen Lindsay came in with a D. So these players are already growing, already becoming a better part of what we need in order to make them to the next level, get them to the main squad, and get them playing and scoring goals. I hope you guys like this episode. In the next episode, we will be playing our first games. So if you missed that out on that, make sure you stick around, hit that red subscribe button, hit the like button. That way you can check out next week's episode of when we play our first games. It will be in that invitational that we got at the beginning that we selected. Until next time, slacker out.